Hi, I'm Jim Watkins, Professor in PSE and Director of the UMass Institute for Hierarchical Manufacturing. Our group works on the creation of nanostructured materials and devices using a combination of techniques, including self-assembly, nanoimprint lithography, and photothermal processing. Our applications range from meta-optics for augmented and virtual reality, to high-efficiency energy storage, to super soft elastomers. Our group is typically about 15 postdocs, graduate students, and senior scientists, and you'll now hear from them about more of the work that we do. Photoblast polymers are one primary area of focus in our research. Photoblast polymer consists of densely grafted polymeric side chains like this photoblast, which is why they can be referred to as polymers or polymers. This unique structure imparts a high level of softness. Because of their unique architectures, bottle brush polymers can be used for a wide variety of applications, from super soft elastomers to well-defined nanostructures that can be used for things in lithography and other processes. Another main area of our research is nanoimprint lithography. Nanoimprint is a direct patterning method in which a stamp is pressed against a substrate covered in a thin film. This creates a pattern of 3D nanostructures. This is a quick and simple way to create a pattern on a large area. The third main research area in the Watkins Research Group is materials for energy devices and electrocatalysts. Carbon-based materials like graphite and graphene have been used in energy devices and support for electrocatalytic materials. We take polymers and transform them into amorphous or crystalline carbon depending on their application. We test them in the form of these coin cells. Our initial goal is to develop this material in a fast, efficient way without sacrificing their performance so that we can fabricate this material at low cost. In longer term, we want to fabricate large scale productions of these materials in operations with battery or supercapacitors. Also, we want to use this material for electrocatalysis in water splitting applications. In a lab, we use this technique for advanced structural applications such as making metal lenses, ceramic structures, and even anodes for batteries. We also use this technique in collaboration with our industrial partners to make nanoscale structures on a roll-to-roll -roll facility at PAC. One of the main things that drew me to the Watkins Group was not only the diverse group of people doing research, but the diverse research that this group does. We focus not only on fundamental applications of polymers, but also their applications in the real world. Students from Watkins Group end up in a wide variety of careers, some in academia and mostly in industry at companies like Apple, Facebook, Intel, and PPG. I chose to come at PAC because of the diversity in the research fields, and also we don't have to do a mandatory TA for a stipend, so we can always become a TA for experience. We hope that you're excited about the work that you just heard about, and we look forward to having you at UMass.